let's get into the Tyreek Hill one because yesterday Tyreek Hill uh, talked a, a little bit about, you know, his um, his uh, that he wanted to become he you know his his uh, his job now is to try to become a dolphin for life. He also talked about how he uh, greedy isn't going to help him. You know, all of those kind of things. He he said all the right things, right? And obviously saying that Tua's got to get paid and all that. And, and to his credit, he he handled it all like a champ, I think, overall. And, and he has to handle it this way with kid gloves. Why? He has no leverage whatsoever in this situation. Zero. Zero. Um, Tyreek Hill has had a year and a half of turmoil off the off the field and on the field at times he has failed his team in some big moments okay and as we've talked about all the off the field stuff that has happened from the from the doc incident comedy club fake divorce um what was the other one that um uh, the the there was one more that i'm missing Oh, the, uh, the IG model. model. Yeah, the IG model. All that. He has done enough bullshit off the field that they have to be worried. I don't need anybody to tell me that over there in the building. Anybody with a brain has to be concerned about Tyreek Hill and off time. Anybody. Okay? And you can't keep waiting for somebody to grow up that is already 30. Remember, this has come since he was in college and he got away with stuff in college because they couldn't do anything to him in the NFL for it. OK, so he's been getting away with a lot of things over the years and you can't keep waiting for somebody to grow up. So I doubt the Dolphins are waiting. And the fact that they never went for any money from him, I think it's a it's a that to me, that was the signal of all signals. They're done with it. They needed the money desperately. And they're still working around everything that they're signing their rookies or signing Waddle, which, again, by signing your rookies and signing Waddle, that tells me you already have the parameters of the, of the Tua deal done. It's kind of like you're, 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 you're on the what money is guaranteed in the second year, third year, and, 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 uh, sign, and, and roster bonuses. And, 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 you know, it's probably stuff like that that they're working on. But the basics of the salary and what they're going to give them guaranteed, I got to tell you, they probably agreed on that already. That, that's why they've done all this other stuff. I'm pretty sure you're going to hear about a contract right away. But with Tyreek, he has no leverage. None. And he's 30. Do you think he gets better from here? And by the way, by giving him more money or, or guaranteeing or extending, that means you have to keep him into 31, 32. Receivers don't get better with age. And then on top of all of that, do you think his behavior is going to get better? He's only been here two short years and he's had a whole bunch of incidents. By the way, those are the ones we know. Like you knew Preston Williams was was uh, immature and you know was inconsistent and all that. You don't know what he did behind the scenes because that that there's stuff that when you see a guy that has issues, you think that's the only time they have the issues. Of course not. There's more shit that goes on behind the scenes that we never find out about. And it's part of why they get cut, released, traded, whatever it is. All players, all of these cats that have issues, they're going to have more issues that we don't know about. You can, you know, when when uh, Mark Walton was signed and they tried him out and he flaked out on them, and unfortunately the kid has some serious mental issues. But you don't think he was probably doing some other things too along the way? late to meetings or late to whatever it is or not paying attention not really prepared in class or whatever it is 
I'm sure there were a bunch of other things. So w- what's the other stuff that we don't know about Tyreek? Because there's, it's what you know in the first two years. Imagine what you don't know. So to me, I, I think this is this is all media creation. This is all agent creation because he uses Channel 7 as his, you know, as his stage for all this stuff. It's not like they're going to press him in Channel 7 for negative stuff, you know? So that, that's never, no matter who the host is, it's not the host's fault. It's just the way the, the situation is. But why would the Dolphins do anything? He's under contract. They don't need to do anything. And he has zero leverage. After his behavior the last two years, considering how much he's getting paid, he has to behave. He cannot hold out. He cannot create a fuss because he needs to become a free agent at 30 years old with baggage next year. So if you want to become a free agent with baggage at 30, you know what you got to do? Be a really good soldier this year. Play your best. Do not complain. Do not point fingers. He kept complimenting. Oh, they got a great front office. Greer and Brandon Shore. I I saw the PR bullshit that he was pulling. Great job by him. He handled it beautifully. And guess what? He's got to handle it like that, whether they do something or they don't. I know they're not, but I'm just telling you. He's going to have to be a good soldier the rest of the way. The Dolphins have zero reason to do anything with Tyreek Hill. Anything whatsoever. When Tyreek Hill behaves well and catches the football in key moments on a consistent basis, then maybe you could talk about that. But since that hasn't happened, it's over. It's over. Okay, Tyreek Hill, if he's smart, he's a good soldier this year. He plays his best football. He's a super supportive teammate. And then he thanks the Dolphins on the way out as he heads into free agency. The worst thing, but Tyreek Hill has made all kinds of bad decisions in his life. So it's up to him now. He's in a moment now. If he wants to create a fuss, hold out, become a problem, you go ahead, buddy. Guess what? The Dolphins are in the driver's seat the entire time. The league moves on without Montana. They move on without Gretzky. They move on without Marino. They move on without everybody. Nobody is above anything. They are going to move on. Doesn't matter what your name is. So you're not bigger than the game. The game will always be bigger than you. So Tyreek Hill has zero leverage. Anybody that writes anything different, or I don't even know, radio or podcasting or whatever, and they tell you that Tyreek has any kind of leverage in this, they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Zero freaking clue. Tyreek Hill needs to be a really good soldier this year because his future, it's not in doubt but it's in question where he's going to be and what he's going to play for. The bigger dick you act like this year, the less money you're going to play for next year. So the better the player you are, the better the person you are this year, the better chance you will get to get a a damn decent contract from somebody next year. It won't be the Dolphins, but it'll be somebody else. So you can talk about wanting to be a Dolphin for life and all that kind of stuff. You know, last time I checked, there aren't a lot of players that end the career for life anymore. How, how's that going on? How, how, how did, did Tom Brady end for life over there in New England? And that's Tom Brady. No, he didn't. He went and won a championship for another team instead. You know, so last time I checked, doesn't matter who you are. Aaron Rodgers didn't play for life. They push you out the door all the time. Those days of of players retiring, I mean, 
How did how, how many of those have happened lately, Sean? Around the league, how many guys stayed for their entire? Or, or, I mean, this is his second team, anyways. But like, how many guys actually really stay till they're old and then they walk out the door? But what fantasy is Tyreek Hill living in? That's not the reality of the NFL anymore. I want to be a dolphin for life. Brother, somebody tell Tyreek that the only people that are dolphins for life, that's us, the fans. We're dolphins for life. You know, nowadays, there isn't a goddamn player that's going to be a dolphin for life. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, not even quarterbacks are finishing their careers. Those days are done, man. Dolphin for life. I laughed my ass off when I heard that yesterday. It's like, yeah, it's nice. Tyreek Hill, here's my suggestion. Hey, hey, I'm not an agent. Okay, not an agent. All right, just like I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an agent. But here's my suggestion be a good soldier, you're playing for your future next year for somebody else, and it isn't the Miami Dolphins. This is the big old show. This is the